In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to configure Eclipse with Selenium WebDriver to start writing your own Selenium test cases in Java. So we are going to launch the Eclipse IDE and create a workspace. So double click on Eclipse EFT. Create your own workspace, name it as you want, or you could uh, leave it as per default. I'm going to leave it. All your projects uh, will be stored in this directory. So once Eclipse is launched, launched, create a new project, file new project, it's going to be a Java project, click on next. Let's give it a name, for example, first, first um, Selenium project. Click on finish. Uh, now let's create a new package on uh, our project. So right click on the project, then new package. Give uh, the package a name like automation selenium and click on finish. Now let's create a class under our package. Click on new class. Let's name it first test case. And check the option public static void name. Right click on finish. Now the Eclipse window looks like this. All right, so uh, now the important part. So to configure the Eclipse with Selenium WebDriver, we need to add Selenium WebDriver's external jars to Java Build Path. All right. So for that, let's go to Project, our project, the Selenium project, and select Property, and then Java Build Path. Now we need to add external jars, all right? So uh, the external, external jars are going to be client combined, the jar, and all the libs contained in the folder lib, all right? Let's select all of them, open, click on apply, And click OK. All right, so just to see here the Fintech libraries, all our jars are added to our project. So, yeah, that's it. This is all what you need to configure Eclipse with Selenium WebDriver. Now you are ready to write your first script in Java and run it in. Uh, uh, Selenium WebDriver. So this is going to be the main purpose of my next video. So stay tuned and thank you for watching.